keeping an eye on rainfall as you're heading out the door for this morning. It was so nice to hear the rain falling last night. We really need the moisture. It? I could certainly slow you down this morning. What are you going to find when you head out the door this morning? This is happening right now. Live, our photographer in the field, Robin Davis, showing you your morning drive for this morning. He's obviously, of course, because we're going to him right now at a stoplight. So. You may find a stoplight out there this morning, but we're keeping an eye on that wet pavement that you can see and certainly the potential of slower travels as you're heading out the doorway this morning. Let me show you one of the main arteries heading into downtown Kansas City on our Capitol Federal camera. This is a look I-70 westbound heading into the west side of the loop. You can see traffic is moving fine this morning, but it's certainly moving a little bit slower. We do have those areas of mist, drizzle, and light rain that we're tracking across the area to get to started this morning. We're at 36. I know many of you are wondering where are our temperatures this morning, and most of us are just above that freezing mark. So, we're talking about wet pavement for all of our 44 counties as you're heading out the doorway this morning. We have 37 in Warrensburg, 38 in Excelsior, 36 in Olathe, the same right now in Lee Summit. That being said, wet pavement for everyone, but I wouldn't be surprised if one or two of you send me some, uh, send me some tweets or send us an email this morning and say, Hey, I hear a little ping, a little sleep mixing in with that rain. It's certainly not out of the question during the coldest part of the morning. Between now and about 8 a.m. Here's a look live conditions on first alert live Doppler radar. We have another little light finger of moisture moving its way west side of the 435 loop, approaching areas of KCK now, extending through areas of Olathe, south side of the 435 loop from the Triangle up through Lee Summit. This extends south on 49 Lock Lloyd through areas of Harrisonville, Lewisburg, south through Olathe and Gardner, dealing with these showers. This extends through Warrensburg, eastbound through areas close to Sedalia this morning as well. But it's not just east. Bound. I'm keeping an eye west of Kansas City, and we've got this ribbon of moisture just continuing to develop out to our west. And we'll be watching these areas of rain near Wichita this morning. It's kind of like a train, like a choo choo train. And we are on the tracks, and we are right on the tracks in terms of rain for our area. We're going to continue to see this moisture just stay right along this path, right into our viewing area as we are working through today. So, bottom line yes, you may see a few breaks in the rain, but you also still have the opportunity of the rain coming back. Back in. We'll be talking about a 60% chance of moisture for the bulk of today. And then as we're heading into the evening hours tonight, that rain opportunity going downhill. But I do anticipate slower conditions. We're going to give you the caution light in terms of travel, not only this morning, but through this afternoon, through the early evening commute. I do anticipate we could have slower going in terms of light rain, mist, and drizzle through the evening commute tonight. Let me walk you through the next three days. We will see rainy, cool conditions with highs in the 40s. That's it for today. But by tomorrow, up to 66. It gets even better by Saturday. 72 as we're heading towards your Saturday. Now, let me show you the second half of our 70 forecast. Something we haven't put on this forecast here at all so far this season. The chance of not only rain on Monday, but thunderstorm potential next week. Not only rain, but rumbles of potential Tuesday night into Wednesday morning. We'll be watching that for you closely, Chris. Over to you.